Hello everyone. Uh, this time I have been receiving comments about creating some sort of commentary on my videos. So I just decided to just briefly talk about and casually talk about the making of Venom figurine that I just finished. I'm doing this uh, unscripted, just talking as I watch the video rendering and um, here you can see the I'm not going to go in depth about sculpting, but this was actually very easy to sculpt as I have made a, a base body for males and females and Venom is just basically beefed up human and uh, just adding teeth, uh, the main elements because uh, and they're a crash because why not uh, posing this was actually interesting. I googled around a lot about Venom in its poses and I had this feeling of him breaking through of something. But I just couldn't... Uh, I was thinking about the window first, but then I was thinking how I'm going to make the glass and uh, other breakage in there. So I just scrapped that idea and uh, I was just adding details, muscles and veins and such and wondering about the possible poster. Uh, I was forced uh, in my mind to keep it in this pos uh, poster, but I was thinking what is the environment, what is he doing in this pose. So I was just googling, googling more and Venom is a pretty familiar character for me. so. I decided to make him crash through a, a cargo holder that you can, or a, it can be also a hull or a factory wall or something like that. Just adding more tiny details. These are just your basic, where you're doing it by digitally or by hand. It's pretty much the same thing. Just add more clay and uh, smooth around. Then I forgot, almost forgot about the tongue, so that would have been... Uh, I actually forgot once a tail of the character and uh, no one even noticed that uh, after a year or so of making that. Uh, So what's going on here is again muscles and stuff, but uh, right here I'm starting to make the... Uh, I'm thinking about the structure around him and I'm thinking about how metal bends and snaps finally. So here I'm just creating some random uh, planes that I'm going to bend uh, very strongly. So it looks like a metal that has bent or bent or uh, snapped in pieces. And then I'm just pulling the clay from Venom's body or adding more and pulling if needed to the metal pieces because he would be uh, automatically securing himself from the shrapnel of, of the metal sh shards. Here you can see pictures. Uh, I printed it in pieces and then I just used a different kind of sculpting materials to put it in together. Some glue, some, some um, dunt. I'm sorry my dog was chasing a bee and I don't want him to eat it. Uh, here's... You can see it uh, progress. Here I have spray painted the metal base and the metal pieces and the Venom in black. Painting of this was actually really easy because uh, there aren't a lot of colors. There's a hint of blue and hint of gray in Venom and uh, the metal pieces I spray painted with silver uh, metal spray paint and uh, then I added blue and red tint to the uh, opposite sides of the metal. Uh, that also reflects the Venom's nature as it uh, sometimes help, 
sometimes he's a hero and sometimes he's a villain. Uh, although he's in truly he's quite a, a non-villain and non-hero as he just tries to live his life in a sense, uh, not meaning any actual harm, just acting in his behavior. And uh, just the white, uh, white uh, linings. I, I used. I took a bit of uh, artistic freedom with the look of the symbol, as this is a mix of the movie and the comic Venom. Finishing the tongue, and you can see the final picture. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe and dislike and share this video because I really would like my channel to grow. Thank you.